Welcome back guys. So we're continuing implementing our virtual machine and in today's lecture we will implement error handling. Okay, so here's our main C++ file, the EVA VM executable. And currently we don't output anything as the successful result. Let's put some message at the end of the program. All done. Okay. Include the header file. Sounds good. And let's get back to our eval loop. Uh, for now, if we encounter some uh, unknown operation code, unknown opcode, uh, we don't do anything. So pretty much the loop will stuck and it will be infinite loop. So let's actually put the default case here. Uh, if we didn't recognize any of the existing opcodes, we go into throw. And for this, let's introduce the macro with very specific name, which will exit the program at any point. So again, if we don't recognize specific opcode, we just throw an unknown opcode. As you can see, this macro supports um, streaming, so we push uh, any existing values, like, like strings, and the opcode itself. In this case, it's hex number for the opcode. And let's create this macro in the logger.h file, okay, which we're going to include. So first of all, we want to have convenient way to push uh, anything in this output stream, uh, similar how we push into std out. So let's have the error log message class, which extends the basic output stream. And the way it's going to work, we're going to have destructor for this class, right? That is the code which is executed when uh, an instance of this class is uh, goes out of scope. And exactly here, we're going to output to the standard error stream of the aggregated string. And to then exit the program with the failure. Uh, and the macro itself will be just uh, instantiation and instance of this class. Now, C++ has a block scope, which means once an instance goes out of scope, it calls destructor. So in this case, when you go out of the block of the switch statement, the uh, die macro will be executed and we exit the program. Sounds good. Let's include the logger here. And that should be it. Let's execute. Um, actually, no. Uh, we again forgot to include uh, the header to be able to extend the basic code stream. And the header is as stream. Let's include it, execute again, and now all is passed. And let's try changing the bytecode and put some unknown value. All right, execute again, and we correctly see unknown upcode uh, with the value 1. Okay, let's return it back, and it works. And uh, one more convenient thing, let's introduce this log uh, macro, which will help out putting the value with the label. Okay, using the hash on the macro, prints the actual string for the name of this parameter, and then we output the value. Let's try logging the upcode, and as you can see it logged correctly, upcode 0 corresponds to the halt instruction. And that's it for today's small lecture. Uh, the logger will be helping us implementing further constructs, so we're going to use this macro uh, all over the place, in compiler later, uh, in parser, etc. Please feel free to add anything to the logger class, like actually log into a file, introducing log levels. That is anything that will help you to trace execution. And in addition, of course, we'll be using the debugger. But to track the process, it's always nice to have a logger. In the next lecture, we'll start talking about constants and we'll implement the first constant type, uh, the numbers. So we'll be able to evaluate simple numbers and then we go to mathematical operations such as addition, and multiplication, and further to strings and functions. Okay, thanks and see you in the class.